Hello again. Let's talk about data. Open the patch editor up here. Right click and add a value patch. And then this editor, if you hold control and mouse wheel in, you can scroll and zoom in. Now by default, this input is set to number. So we can change this to any number, including decimals. Hitting up and down arrow keys will increase it by one. Now a Boolean is an on or off switch. This is useful for toggling things that you want visible or invisible or any other kind of thing that's only on or off. And you have color here. If you click this gray box, it'll bring up a color picker. And right now it shows red, but it's gray here. And that's because this alpha channel is set to zero. If we set it to the max value of 255, you can see it changed to red there. And a pulse is kind of like a trigger. It'll send, like it implies, a pulse that can then trigger other things down the line. Text is text. And then vector 2, 3, and 4 are basically the same idea with increasing numbers of numbers. So a vector 4, for instance, can have x, y, z, and w. And in terms of color images, the X, Y, and Z are the red, green, and blue channels, and then W is the alpha channel. So if we look back at color, this would be the X, Y, Z, and W, or R, G, B, and A. And that's all the, the default values for this value. There's other types of data types that aren't necessarily in here, like you can import objects into the patch editor, and the object itself is a sort of data type. But we'll get to that later.